morning, everybody. Welcome to Chester. And welcome to our Synergistic Reconstruction Symposium. Uh, happy to, to be here and for those of you <coughs> coming back from, or coming from Manchester, it was uh, good that you, you guys had the coach and for those from further afield, that's even more amazing that you're all here. So uh, thank you. Uh, I'd like to start off with uh, thanking my co-chairs really. Uh, so Harry, who unfortunately was not feeling very well, so hopefully we'll be able to show up later. Jakob, uh, uh, Christoph and Richard, you will see them later on, I'll ask them to present something uh, in case you don't know them. And then the organizing committee for uh, inviting uh, a good section uh, selection of, of speakers to to get us all uh, interested and and uh, sorry I'm obviously not doing very well yeah. <laughs> uh, in 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 this uh, in this symposium so uh, I thought it might be useful to give you just a little bit of background on uh, why we are doing this symposium before going ahead and so. Uh, you might have noticed that it, it says on, on the website that uh, this funding of two com collaborative computational platforms and those who are not in the UK, they probably don't know what that is. So uh, it's a five year networking type of grants from the EPSRC and uh, that's uh, Engineering Physical Sciences Research Council and they uh, give us money for networking and organizing events like this. And they also uh, give us uh, research software engineer support. So depending on which CCP, they have one or two people. And that is uh, support is provided by COSEC, uh, which is a division of USDFC guys, which is why all those logos are over there. So uh, obviously we, this is a joint event between two different CCPs. Uh, this the uh, CCP PETAMAR, as we like to call ourselves, which is on synergistic PETAMAR reconstruction. So uh, we started this about five years ago to try and get uh, people together on PETAMAR reconstruction, um, trying to uh, let people understand what are the aspects of MR that people, uh, PET people don't know and vice versa. And there were obviously a lot of them and there still are. Um, and then also to develop open source software to be able to do the reconstructions from your scanners that you can do that. And uh, uh, you will hear a presentation on uh, our synergistic image reconstruction framework tomorrow, uh, SURF. And the other CCP is the uh, CCP on tomographic imaging. They are uh, slightly older than us. Uh, I think there's now roughly in their ninth year. And um, they concentrate on material sciences and did a lot of work on uh, X-ray CT uh, for, uh, not so not for medical applications, but for dental and, and uh, working with diamond light source and things like that. And so they also uh, branched out to neutron imaging and other uh, very uh, interesting modalities. And so they ha both of us have a software flagship additional funding, which provides uh, some postdoc and other money to, uh, sort of push the research a bit because the CCP itself d only does the network. So uh, the funding for all of these events comes from both of the CCPs and therefore from EPSRC. So just like to thank EPSRC for that, obviously. Uh, so uh, synergistic image reconstruction, we started off five years ago on, with a fairly narrow definition of it and we're sort of rolling it out every day a little bit. And so uh, this symposium tries to cover uh, pretty much all, I think, uh, applica or, or methods for uh, synergistic image reconstruction where we, we, we say, well, okay, you want to extract multiple parameters from multiple data sets, but you don't want to do it one by one. You want to do it, you know, one data set and one parameter influencing the other in a way. And so that has many different applications and, and some of those you will be hearing about today. Uh, <coughs> the maybe slightly less trivial one is the last one where you say you, you follow up your patient. Do you really want to reconstruct uh, all of these, all of those data independently or do you want to uh, exploit some similarities and uh, maybe see differences between them? Uh, so there are, there are many challenges for doing synergistic image reconstruction, I think. Uh, 
you need to understand your multiple data sets, your multiple modalities, and, and okay, if you do dual energy CT, that's maybe not too hard, but if you do TETRAMAR, then it is hard. Uh, so your images, if you reconstruct them together, they are no, no longer independent by construction, uh, but that can be undesirable. You can have features from one uh, going into the other. And so, although at first instance it looks like this is a great idea, at second instance maybe you think, well, this is maybe a bit dangerous. And so, uh, th these are topics for thinking about during the symposium and, and for, for uh, questioning and um, discussing, really. Uh, obviously, it needs a lot of algorithmic development, and uh, that's, I think, what we, we are here to discuss and, and to learn from each other, because it often... You know, you see a paper in, in, in uh, multi-energy CT and then you say, well, actually this could apply to Petramar or whatever as well. Uh, so a lot of the methods are directly transferable with some changes, obviously. And then finally, it needs a lot of software uh, to be able to do this on, on the data from your scanner. And so we have a, a session with some of us on software and then the training school in the la later two days uh, to uh, help you with our, our own software. Uh, okay, so our agenda for today, uh, it's, uh, we start with two educational sessions because we thought it would be, because we try and put people together from different fields, we thought it would be good to let people learn a little bit from other fields first. So those are 40 minute roughly uh, uh, presentations, including uh, answers, uh, uh, questions and answers. And then, uh, in the afternoon, we'll have uh, a walk through Chester. Let's hope it doesn't rain. Uh, uh, you have a bit more information on that in a second. And then after the walk, there's a, an opportunity to refresh yourself after the uh, exercise, but also get some coffee. And uh, then we, we will start with the normal, if you like, uh, shorter presentations, which are uh, according to schedule two, uh, 22 minutes and a half. They can't. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, with uh, uh, we had some, a few, not many uh, can cancellations uh, at the end uh, too, because of uh, visa problems. Unfortunately, with uh, the Brexit uh, shenanigans, the uh, the Home Office and Immigration Office, I guess, is overloaded, and so they did manage to get their visa in time. So sometimes the, the talks are, in, uh, you have to switch things around, but it also means there's slightly more uh, space in the program. Um, so this is for the afternoon, and uh, you will see that in after the conference dinner, we, uh, we keep on going uh, with a poster session. Uh, <coughs> so I hope you, you are all going to be up for it. And uh, we'll have, again, a little bit more information on that. But so to, to tease you there, we'll have some wine and nibble, nibbles as well. So. Um, and then on Monday, it's also a fairly long day uh, where we uh, cover sort of uh, roughly 90-minute uh, sessions with some refreshments. So you see there's, there's fair, uh, a lot of... Uh, refreshments, breaks, coffee breaks, which I believe are going to be next door in the Palazzo. And uh, the intention of that is not to just load you up on coffee, but to, uh, to actually give you the opportunity to talk to each other, because that's the point of bringing everybody together here, right? And, and please just don't talk to your friends, because you talk to them all the time, <laughs> <laughs> presumably. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, so that, that's the reason why they are there and, and also not to tire you out too much. Uh, just uh, the last note there. So for those of you uh, joining the uh, training school in, in Daresbury, uh, the we're going to have a help desk for you to help install the software. Uh, we should have cloud access as well. That normally it will be our preferred way of doing things because it will be much faster, but it it's kind of useful to have the virtual machine as a backup. So if you haven't managed to install it and or have any problems, you should be able to find us somewhere. I don't know where. Uh, we'll find out tomorrow. Uh, okay. So uh, a few more practicalities. Obviously, we are we are streaming this event. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's about a million people listening in online now. But 
Um, so uh, if you have questions, and I hope you do have questions, the point is to be interactive here, is uh, th there will be two microphones, and, and please use the microphones because otherwise these people online won't be able to hear it. Um, also, uh, that sort of, well, not just for ourselves, but also for the people online, it, it implies that we have to keep on time, and um, I think I'm making the first cardinal sin of running over the time now, probably, but uh, please do so. And that means that session chairs, please keep your presenters on time as well. Uh, nevertheless, uh, participants, the, the point here is to interact, yes, and, and to ask questions after every session. So uh, let's not run over your allocated time of, uh, I believe, 18 minutes for your presentation, such that we have uh, four and a half minutes for questions and answers. Um, okay, so uh, if, uh, Jakob, if you don't mind, uh, giving a very brief uh, overview on the uh, walking tour. All right. Yeah, welcome, everybody. Um, so today we thought we'd take you for a little walk around Chester to see some of the nice uh, historical sites. Um, so we'll meet up after lunch at 1 p.m. in the lobby. Um, we'll have four guides to meet us there, so we'll somehow work out to divide into four groups. Um, take us around uh, to see different sites and um, it should be about two hours so we should be back here in about at about three o'clock uh, to have some coffee to be ready for the next talk um, it is a nice old time there's some Roman uh, sites there's a lot of Tudor houses around and there's what you see there is the the East Gate uh, clock uh, I think that's the second most photographed clock uh, in the UK, so <laughs> very good. Um, so yeah, please do uh, join. And see you there. Okay, thank you. And then I think uh, Richard on the poster session. Uh, Jakob, just pass it on. I suppose that begs the question of what's the number one? Is it Big Ben? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so as Chris alluded to already, on Sunday we'll do, well this evening we'll do the poster session uh, after the dinner. So clearly what we're looking for here is not only good quality research, but how well you are to present it after a couple of gla glasses of wine. Um, so we'll just do a two minute elevator pitch before the session, you know, uh, to really tell people what you're up to. And that'll just consist of one title slide and then one with your actual content. So if you haven't done already, could you please just email those to, to that email address that's, uh, that's given there. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, and we'll, we'll try and line you up somehow. We can figure it out during the day how, how that's going to work. Um, Christoph. Yeah, also, hello for me. Um, so, you've got all these posters. Of course, you want to um, award um, the, the best poster also here in part of the symposium. So, as you can see, it's, um, we're going to have three prices, starting from £300 to down to £100. Um, the way we're going to um, select the best poster will be by you picking the best poster. And I hope all of you got this little gold star pick, uh, sticker. If not, then please go to, uh, to the registration desk again and pick one up. And um, you will have the opportunity to put this sticker on the poster, so quite old school. Um, if you put it on the poster, um, please put it also so that I can see that, because in the end I have to count them. Um, so don't put them on top of each other, that doesn't really make much sense. Um, you can not just, of course, you will hear the pitches today, you can talk to presenters, and then you have time basically from this evening up to um, tomorrow um, the f after the first refreshment break, so 10.30, to put your sticker up. Then I will count them, and just before we go for lunch, we will award them the best poster awards. Yeah. Okay, great, thank you. Um, good, so uh, just... Uh, before we, we really start going, uh, a few uh, other things. So uh, I've, I've asked Georg Schramm uh, to, to make a few pictures. I hope you don't mind. If you do mind, uh, maybe let us know, and then we will probably distribute those later on or even put a few on the website. Uh, clearly, we are streaming the event, so presenters, I don't think anybody has said they don't want that, but it's kind of a little bit late, but you can still say that you don't want your presentation to be streamed and then also if you don't want us to put them up on, on the website later on because our plan is to put all of these available. Uh, it's all publicly funded after all so you know uh, we need to make sure that it's worth it. Um, and then uh, I think uh, it's I just want to 
uh, thank uh, Christoph, Harry, and Jakob again. And then I also like to thank uh, the SDFC people. Uh, as, uh, Georgia is sitting there. Yes, please, Georgia, come to the front. <laughs> because we did manage to sort something out. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so uh, uh, it might be the first time that you're organizing this uh, type of event. Yes. yes, but you did amazingly well, so we thought we would uh, need to give you, you a little thank you for that. Thank you. Okay, so uh, unless there are any burning questions, uh, let's get going with the educational first educational session. Uh, and our first presenter is Simon Erich from UCL on methods for joint image reconstruction from multiple modalities. 